All new tonight, HNN investigates lessons from Lahaina. Nearly a year after the wildfire disaster, how has the rest of the state changed? Our Allison Blair is traveling across the state to see how leaders are trying to be better prepared. Tonight, she's on the island of Hawaii taking residents' concerns to officials. We'll get to those concerns in a moment, but first, I want to talk about some of the adjustments that have been made. The head of Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency says since August 8th, it's implemented additional training for emergency management staff with a specific focus on messaging and the use of the public alert warning system. That's not all. Hawaii's fire department now ups its staffing during red flag warnings. And the county's emergency operations center is also activated earlier. Fire mitigation projects are underway too. Department of Transportation Highways has put in about 30 miles worth of fuel breaks around some of the high fire danger areas. Places like Kohala Ranch Estates, Kailapa, Waimea, and Waikoloa. The community is also stepping up to make a difference. 73 volunteers with Team Rubicon, a veteran-led disaster response organization, spent 4,000 hours bolstering this fuel break on the Malka side of Waikoloa Village. And something unique, a portion of Waikoloa Village's homeowners association fees are solely used for fire protection. The county says it's hardened the Hulu Street escape route, a second road out of the community that's utilized in emergencies. The Roth administration is also working with private landowners to create a third emergency road. We're at about mile 71 on Queen Kaahumano Highway. The specific site is a point that is below the Waikoloa Village. A neighborhood that's expanding. With blustery winds and dry conditions a part of everyday life here, the head of the community's Firewise Committee told us she's against new development, saying it's not safe. That's a fire trap on the north side until another road is built. Anyone who lives on that side is going to have to fight all the traffic to get out. Do you think it's a good idea to be building more homes in the back of Waikoloa Village? It's kind of like a, a catch-22. If you don't build those things, the owners of the land um, won't build it. Roth says developers have agreed to put in the road and that ground was broken on the project in May. Is there any kind of timeline for when it could be completed? We're hoping that the emergency access road happens within the next year. And that's kind of their timeline that they've given us. One thing everyone we spoke with agrees on is when it comes to disaster preparedness, government can't do it alone. Folks need to plan for themselves as well. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna shelter in place? Can you shelter in place? Do you have defensible space that your house will be protected? Or do you need to leave? For a comprehensive list of actions you can take to protect your home in a wildfire emergency, head to our website, hawaiinewsnow.com, and click on this story. Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now.